All right, well, there's one last thing I wanted to get into before we finish this up. So on the last show, we were talking about the uh, space it's fake conspiracy, NASA, uh, pretty much rigging all space footage and all that since they first formed in, I think it was 1954. But when, we look, when I look back at the audio that we last did on the video, uh, I think it, a, a lot of the audio was cut from the conversation, so uh, I'll just get into what we were talking about last time. It basically goes on about how that all NASA space information since 1958 that was um, formed by one of Hitler's right-hand men. He also directed six moon emissions, and when he died, he told his assistant that the fake alien invasion is coming. So that's one of Eddie Bravo's uh, theories. Also, that the faking of Roswell was a diversion, a CIA diversion, and this alien invasion will scare everyone into a one-world government. That's the theory. Uh, but then, when you look at Operation Paperclip, where you know NASA brought over thirty-four thousand Nazi scientists, and how Hitler supposedly created the EU. The Nazis created flying saucers and was in contact with aliens and all these other types of um, similarities. So well, Alex Jones came on um, the Joe Rogan podcast. Uh, he gave a very interesting theory about you know NASA building a breakaway civilization where as to say that they don't want to run the planet but siphon off resources and build a new advanced system. Uh, he says there was two breakaway shadow governments, NASA and the OSS, Office of Strategic Services. He then says that the US merged with the British Empire in the 1930s and a whole bunch of other uh, crazy topics that they got into. What's your uh, take on that, Clint? To start with, um, Operation Paperclip. Is, you know, I don't, I, I didn't know it was that that amount, that many scientists, thirty four thousand, but there sure was a lot. You know, the most famous one was von Braun, who went on to work for NASA and with rocketry science and physics and all that sort of stuff. But as for like a breakaway civilization, um, there is there's a couple of good uh, historians, Dr. Joseph P. Farrell and the late Jim Mars, who both wrote extensively about a possible breakaway civilization, coming from the fact that the Third Reich was far more advanced in physics and rocketry and and all all manner of things, to the point where when uh, the ones that uh, weren't captured by the United by the United States or the Russians at the end of the war fled to Argentina, and with uh, the loot of Europe, uh, the Vatican helped them out. And um, they they all went to Argentina, where they could continue their their scientific research um, with ample amounts of funds. And then, so I don't think space is fake, um, but I do think about the Roswell crash. My theory is that it wasn't a UFO, it wasn't a spacecraft, it was a Nazi. Um, aircraft that crashed and it was a um, almost like a, a shot across the bow at the Americans and the Allies saying look we're, we're still we're still continuing our research we're, we're down here in Argentina and we're, we're far more advanced than any of the physics that um that, that you know that you have and uh, so I don't know. so it's a it's a it's a really interesting topic but those two authors if People, listeners want to know more about it. They're two really good books to read. Um, is uh, Nazi International by um, Dr. Joseph P. Farrell and uh, The Rise of the Fourth Reich by uh, Jim Mars. Uh, two good books to read on. Yeah, Alex Jones uses a lot of examples from Churchill, Churchill's memoirs. Um, I know you've been reading that too. Can you give me any examples maybe that could... Or interesting, interesting takes on that. Well, yeah, uh, Churchill's um, Churchill changed a lot over his political career um, from some of his writings about Zionism in 1920 to B 
beating the drum for war against Germany in the late 30s. Uh, I think, uh, I, again, like, um, we're only taught the history that they want us, that the, you know, the, the, the ruling elites want us to believe because we won the war. Um, however, you know, Churchill said, history should be kind to me for I shall write it. Um, <clears throat> but, <clears throat> you know, I think it would have been a very different story had the Allies lost 